Hello guys and welcome to the League of Europe round number 14 here at the Circuit of the Americas here for the United States of America Grand Prix with the lads of D2. Uh, joining me today, unfortunately no Ghost Recon, we're trying to get him in the party, he's having a few NAT type issues, hopefully we can get it sorted. And he can join us and tell us what's happening in the stream. But joining me is a fellow Welshman. A fellow Welshman in Ricardo. I ain't going to pronounce that right. I never do. How's it going, mate? Uh, I'm doing good, mate. Thank you for uh, letting me commentate. I've uh, wanted to get back into commentating for quite a while now. And uh, although I've only recently um, joined the league, I've been thoroughly impressed with how it's run and uh, everything that's going on in the back scenes and uh, this promises to be an absolute cracker of a race we've just had our own race and uh, if it's anything like that it should be a, a class watch well i'm hoping that uh i'm hoping that this race will also live up to the, the standards of what happened in d3 as campbell person at 31.6 really showing off his pace very early around the circuit yeah, he did a practice race on uh, Thursday or Friday, and he tried the uh, medium to soft strategy, I think. And he was super quick on the first stint, so it optimised the soft later on when he was on obviously lighter fuel. Everyone else was on slower tyres. So, although he's saying that one thirty one six is is it even possible to be that on a medium tyre? Is he kind of committed to the soft tyre now? I mean, he's definitely going to be committed to the soft tire right now. I mean, from what I know, I mean, TT times from the really, the, the quickest guys on the game are like 130s and your know, high 129s and that. But that is like the fastest on the game. Obviously different from qualifying to TT. TT is perfect conditions, maximum ERS throughout the entire thing. This obviously very different. So, I mean, I think he is well and truly committed right now to a soft tyre strategy. Yeah, just um, just on ball with uh, Mark. I don't know where Mark is in the championship. But from what I've heard, I think he's ran fourth or fifth, is he? Or is that... Well, here's the thing. I mean, we used to be able to look in the D2 chat and look up the, uh, the championship. But now... We don't have access to the D2 chat, so I don't really know what's going on there. I'll just try and have a little look on the website or something now. But uh, yeah. while I do, uh, oh, take us through uh, what you're seeing. I'm just uh, going to stay on board with Mark on those hard tyres. Yeah, so just, uh, just well, I'm on board Mark myself now. And I'm just curious why he chose to go on the, what looks to be the hard tyre. Um, a tyre that you don't really want to be on around here at any point. Unless you have uh, wing damage, but even still, I still prefer the two stop over the one stop from soft to hard. So this tells me that he's going for the medium to soft strategy and maybe hoping to qualify in the top 10 and you know, trying to limit. Because obviously, if you're in the middle of the pack, you open up the chance of getting damaged more. Because you've, you've, you've got more cars, cars around, around you. you. Um, I, know I know a lot of people will go on the soft to tire because of that. that. Um, but, but it's, a risky, it's, a risky, it's a risky strategy, strategy medium to soft, because of where you are on the track. track. But, but if you can you make, make it stiff, stiff um, it definitely, definitely, definitely pays, pays dividends, dividends at the end of the race. race. But, but he'll, he'll, he'll need, need to put in a cracking lap just to get any of the top 10 because this is a quick, quick division. Yes, indeed. Uh, I've got the uh, standings up, thanks to J. Cole for chucking it in Discord for us. Uh, so we got Dan leading the way in the Red Bull, the man currently in sixth here in qualifying. He is leading the way on 158 points, 30 points clear of the man on provisional pole right now, QVR Campbell. And then we got the other Red Bull of B. Morgan in third with 125 points, just three points behind Campbell. In fact, we have a very close five-way fight for second in the championship as we got 
Caesar, who is still on his hiatus for getting married. Um, so, you know, congratulations to Caesar also on his yeah, wedding. Sure. Uh, he is currently in fourth on 124 points. Then we have Mark in fifth on 119 points. And then J. Cole, the man in sixth on 117. Then we got a 21 point gap to Rikon, who is not here tonight. So, could be uh, losing some positions, yeah. I believe. Oh, no, he yeah, has retired. He has, he has left the. Uh, I was going to say, because I'm not sure, I'm not sure, sure what um, Rikon's face was in. F one nineteen, but in F one eighteen, he went, he, he went really stupidly quick. I mean, he was a front runner in the championship, and he got a load of uh, unfortunate races, which put him towards the back. Uh, in ninth place, because RJW also another retired name who was in eighth. Ninth place is Tigaby, and he is on. 47 points so we got a massive gap from that five-way battle for second down to the next man who is Tigaby so five cars to keep an eye on tonight Campbell B Morgan uh, Mark J Cole and the championship leader Dan obviously with Caesar not being here it's it's gonna be hard for Caesar to pick up any points when he's not here you know? For sure. For sure. Um, I, I want to just, just make, make a point, point though, um, either that it's such an advantage getting a banker lap early on because it just relieves you of that stress. It is very easy to invalid, invalid a, lap a lap around, around here. here. So, so you, you go, go out, around, you're invalid, you go on and never set you invalid. All of a sudden, if you've only gone for the you know the balance that you've got to nail that lap and you have to take off a few times because you you definitely want to get that lap and you don't want to be you know, you don't, you don't want to be 17th, 17th if you're uh, someone who can qualify P3, you know what I mean? mean but, but Campbell is in such a great advantage over, over some of the front runners, runners like maybe Dan, Dan or Tiggy or, or Mark, because, because he's, he's got, got that, that solid, solid lap in, in. He, he can now push extra on, on certain, certain corners, corners where maybe he wouldn't have to on the first one. Well, at the moment, it is a QVR 1 2 with Cohen putting in a New fastest lap with a 31.4 showing off his pace. Uh, we got three QVR lads here tonight and it's going to be interesting to see how they do as adventures gets a little bit... Campbell first, this battle, 31.2. Oh, they're having a battle, aren't they? They are having a battle. It is spicing up the, in the QVR camp. Um, adventures, unfortunately... Losing the back end on his flying lap. He's he's probably going to chuck it in zero ERS now and just go for it. And Bree has retired without setting the lap. Yeah. Sector three. Yeah, 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 it's yeah strange. strange. But, but uh, just, just going, going back, back to the uh, uh, QVR uh, guys, guys, I actually, I actually feel, feel like, like uh, coaches, coaches, one of them tracks track where being in P2 is actually, actually an advantage over being in first because. You have the option say. of just, just saving the ERS. ERS. You don't, you don't have, have to do, do any late. Like, the guy in front is doing it all. Uh, the the undercut is also powerful around, around here. here. Um, so, so that's something, something that, that maybe they'll be, they'll be looking, looking into. into. I mean, you also uh, have the inside into turn one as well. Yeah, well, yeah, um, for sure. Um, being P2 isn't necessarily a disadvantage around here. I'll tell you what is a disadvantage. The disadvantage is for those starting on soft tyres compared to the mediums because as we saw in D3 earlier, those mediums very consistent and very good off the start. So it'll be interesting to see just how many who can qualify in the top 10 on the mediums but also how many are going to go on the mediums outside the top 10. Yeah, yeah I, think I think that's, that's the thing. thing yeah, I mean, if, you, if, you're, if you're not in the, the top, top 10... 10 you may as well go for the medium to uh, soft tracks because everyone else around you is going to be doing the same thing. So you're not going to lose out on the outright pace, you know, on on, on tire compound. So if you can keep it clean, because you don't want to be on the harder compound and get any damage because that basically wrecks your race. That's, that's the uh, the risk you take by going for the better strategy. Um, 
and there's, there's definitely, definitely an element of skill required, required to do that, that strategy. strategy. As we just uh, had a comment in the chat, Big W asking if we're going to mention the rugby. I mean, we're, we're not going to be that cruel. Uh, <coughs> guess in. <coughs> oh, ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh. we could mention the rugby, but there's no not really much point. As B Morgan yeah. falls into second. With a impressive time there for the Red Bull. Yeah, just, just, just some of them times. What was the full time in uh, Division 3, by the right, way? Right, right. I believe it was a 31 6, so these guys are already well and truly past it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, actually I'm actually quite surprised, surprised by how close the um, how close Division 3 is to Division 2. You know? um, well, there's definitely, like there's definitely a few guys in Division 3 that could go well in Division 2 next season but obviously it depends on how many quick drivers are coming in you know for Div 1 might have a very stacked D2 and a couple of us might not get a chance yeah so just, just looking, just looking down, down from, from P16, P16 not, not one of them set a time, time. and, and uh, we're, we're, we're getting, getting into the last three or four, four minutes, minutes now where uh, I mean they've really got a good cushion because they're only going to get one running, and I don't understand it. Unless they've been out and they've been validated. Well, it looks to me like Parker has run out of fuel. Yeah, Actually, you know, no, he know. may not have run out of fuel, but he is definitely a limping at the moment. He's staying in seventh gear, trying to get back to the pits as quickly as possible. I think he might have missed the cut. Because the animation for him to get into his pit box and then get back out, I think he might have just made, missed that cut. Yeah, well, J. Cole hasn't set a time yet. He's, uh, he's on his last, well, it's one and only flight map, I guess. I'll tell you what, we'll jump on board with J. Cole, the man who is in that battle for second. At the tail end of it, but he is well and truly in that battle. And also, in terms of the constructors as well, I mean... Ferrari doing very well in the constructors and they're going to be looking to add to the tally here today. So here he comes now up to the final corner. In the third gear, I guess the... Guess a clean exit, but it's not a very good exit and he goes 11th right now. Yeah, I, 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 he can't, he can't be, be happy with that. that. I mean, he, he hasn't got no time now to go around and, and uh, put on a new set, so that might be it in terms of his uh, position, which which maybe he prefers to go on the medium stop. Um, well, from the looks of it, it's not ideal when you've got your competitors at uh, further, further and better places. Right, well, I'm just going to... Oh, I can't even check, see if he's in lean or not. I was going to bring up his uh, telemetry and he's, add to... Yeah, yeah, he's, he's in, in uh, zero. zero. He's in, in non. I mean, here's the thing: is has J Cole fueled up enough to go for another run? Uh, yeah, yeah mate, mate, that's, that's definitely, definitely a possibility. possibility. Uh, however, the tire wear is, is pretty great. bad on the softs, um, especially going full throttle. So, if he does go for another one, I expect him to be doing the undercut for sure. Well, this is going to be interesting because two laps, two flying laps on those softs, they're going to be cooked after like four laps, easy, with the tyre attempts around this circuit. Yeah, well, he's no, only got 70% ERS, ERS as well, so he's going to have to manage, have to manage his ERS. ERS. Um, Previous seconds. And, and currently on board with the man on provisional pole in the other Ferrari. The man representing QVR. Campbell as he keeps it nice and clean through the well, Pack has lost it on the start straight finish. finish. He's, He's lost, lost it. it. And Bag of Bones also retired as well in sector three. I'm on board with Jay Cole right now. He's going through the S's in sector one. Takes a very nice, neat line. 
this time he's only 11 fires and still stepping up, so if he is improving, it's not quite enough. Campbell has invalidated his lap, so that's going to be the end of the session there for Campbell. Now, B Morgan, I think, is going to be the last man across the line. What can Cohen do? Cohen jumps up into second, gains a tenth on his lap. As we're looking, as we got Toxic now coming to the line out of ERS, unable to improve. Jake Cole's just got a hell of a nice toe down the, uh, the DRS from what looks to be a red ball of Carmentless across the line. He gets up into 10th place. A good lap there from Carmentless. Didn't actually see a second time. Sector 3 for Dan and for Cole. This is where the uh, business ends the quality and everyone just jumps everyone. Oh, that, so that might have been an invalidation. Yep, Dan's into the pits. Dan's box. But Jay Cole's, Cole's coming around the last corner. corner. Let's, Let's see what, what he can, can do. do. Oh, Guess up in the P9. See, I don't, I don't think, think that's. I don't, I don't think, think that's a good, good quality. quality. I don't, I don't think. think um, I think he better off staying where he was. was. And I think this has given up on his lap. So all eyes are now on B Morgan. Comes into the penultimate corner, little bit of a slide, but he's kept it together through the final corner, using all of the track possible, and he's unable to improve. So crazy how Campbell's, Campbell's first, first lap, lap was, was good enough for the pole position. position. No, that was the second lap. Ah, ah second lap. Okay. My bad. Bad. Yeah, so it's a QVR front row lockout with another QVR in fourth place. Unbelievable. Yeah, and we got Mark Dang P12, although he's not in an ideal position, he will be able to start an medium, which I think he I think he'll have to to get anywhere. Um unless it's gonna start with um you know intermediate conditions or wet conditions. Well that's gonna be a thing. Are we gonna get changeable conditions like what we had in D three? So the man on pole position is the Ferrari of QVR Campbell with a 31.2. Alongside him in second place, we have QVR Cohen with a 31.3. B Morgan in third place, 31.4. QVR Maledictus in fourth with a 31.5. I'm just going to rush through them now. Bag of Bones in fifth, Toxic sixth, Dan in seventh, Packer in eighth, J. Cole in ninth, Sarja rounding out the top ten. And then outside the top 10 with three choice of tyre, we got Carmentless, Mark, Adventures, Dylan, Dutchrace, Tigaby, Tun, Starja, Velocity, and OMG, Bree is here. Yeah, um, so, so some, some good, good times there, uh, very, very close, close. Um, between like P4 to P11. Um, who, who, who do you fancy for the podium around here? Right, well, this is going to be interesting. I think... Campbell definitely, definitely in, a, in with a shot of a podium. I want to say Cohen as well. I don't think it's going to be a one-two though. I think someone is going to do a madness on the mediums to start off with. So hmm. maybe the likes of Mark can uh, be consistent because Mark is very consistent in uh, getting podiums. So. Yo, know, it may happen again. Yeah, yeah definitely it's possible. possible. Um, of course, of course he's, he's got a start on the medium. There's nothing saying that he will. will. Um, maybe he feels that like with the fresh set of stops, he can make inroads in the first thing. And um, we'll, you know, maybe look to optimise that. But i I got to say, medium's a soft for me. Anyone outside the top ten. Got to be the strategy. And Mark, Carmentless, Dylan, McDutchface, Velocity, and Bree all opt in for the mediums. Tigger B, Tun, Starja, and Adventures going on the soft. So Mark definitely in prime position along with Carmentless. Because we know how quickly these soft tyres can overheat and then just lose about a second in pace very quickly. Yeah, I expect, I expect uh, Cole, uh, Cole to want to make some ground up with his first few laps, so, so I'm expecting him to be very, very aggressive. 
maybe not into turn one, but definitely um, before the left hand, uh, the left hand, uh, just before the DRS, you can definitely make uh, a late move on the inside down there, or on the outside get a better exit as it goes down the end of the DRS. But yeah, for me, J. Paul, um, Campbell, and I'm going to chuck in a long shot. I'm going to go for Tom Mentalist to get a podium. Not a bad shot. Uh, one person that I really uh, uh, I'm, I'm a bit surprised at because you know he's had some poor form uh, recently, but it looks like he's getting back up there, back of bones, up in fifth place. So I mean, he could be a thorn in some people's sides, trying to make their way through the uh, through the grid. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's good, good to see what, what I really like, like about this grid. This grid. Is the, the top, top six, six all racing, racing for different teams? teams. It is not, not one, one team are in the top six. It is not, not you know, very one and two. two. So it just shows, it shows the, the variety the that the league can offer and how close, close it is. is. Yep, I tell you what, it's going to be interesting that battle between Dan and J. Cole. Because obviously. The more that J. Cole can hold up Dan, the better it is for Campbell. And yeah, yeah. probably B. Morgan as well, in the opposite effect. If B. Morgan get ahead of Campbell and hold him up, it's going to do well for Dan in the championship also. But obviously, B. Morgan obviously wants that championship as well. So, here we go. We are getting ready now. Two, five, magical red lights here to start the USA Grand Prix, and then oh, got a few start. jump starts. We got toxic it, Avengers machine. Avengers machine, machine was the machine first, first to go, go. and it kicks out at everyone else. Oh, Unbelievable! Oh, and B Morgan going around the outside of Cohen. Looks like a clean getaway for B Morgan and Campbell, but Cohen again absolutely swallowed. Oh, we got contact. Bag of bones! Oh, Bag of bones oh, contact! Oh, there's carnage. There's carnage, there's carnage at the, the second S. S. And Jay Cole's, Cole's in the middle of it. He shot down to, to P12. And, and I think he's, he's got, got damage. damage. He's... No, he might have got away with it. So now Mark is ahead of Jay Cole and Car Mentalist jumping up into seventh place. Looking to go down yeah, the yeah. inside and get a good exit on adventures. So yeah, Ventures has got a uh, drive-through, so he doesn't need to overtake him right now. Yeah, I saw. Um, who did I see? With I saw Toxic with the. Uh, uh, Star just retired. I wonder if this will bring. Oh the no! Starjet major collision with the wall, and you can hear him in the, in the game chat. Starjet is not happy with that. But we got a little bit of a battle going on between Packer and Carmentalist. Yeah, this is Carmentalist doesn't, doesn't need to get involved in this right now. The tires will do all the talking. Uh, if someone's quick on the tire behind, just let them go. Fight another day. You'll race to come to you. And Toxic straight into the pits, uh, doing his drive through on the first lap. As we got Tigaby, Bree, Velocity. It's a lunge, it's a lunge from the Red Bull of Dan. No contact with Carmentalis. Carmentalis gets the job done. I think, I think Carmentalis is done on the outside and Dan trying to get back on the inside, but no, he could not make it stick. And Carmentalis takes P7. Great start to the race for him. Yeah, it's in, he is in prime position on those medium tires. And QVR Maledictus, he's lost it on top of the hill. And QVR has lost it as well. Maledictus has uh, uh, lost it on top of the hill. Wow. And Car Mentalist is up to P4 when Avengers takes his penalty. What a start. What a crazy start. Well, I mean, you mentioned Car Mentalist on the podium. Maybe you don't have the commentator's curse. Maybe you have the commentator's blessing. Maybe, maybe. You can thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
them to Campbell and Morgan. Um, and QR kind of got away from Aventus right now, so the top three are happy doing what they want to do. Aventus is not pitting, so you'll have to pit next lap, otherwise, you'll get disqualified. Yep, and to answer your question, Jasper, what's going on with the Echo? I am not sure for some reason. Whenever I stream and I got someone in the party with me, they the echo. It's, it happens when I the. It happens when I record the podcast as well. Yeah, I noticed that actually. I'm not sure how to fix it. You know, if anyone's got any uh, quick fixes, you know, let me know. But at the moment, we got Cohen on the back of B Morgan, and with DRS, he should sail straight past him. Only lap three, but big shout out to Danny P10. Tone Albanov, he is up quite a few positions. He started with P17, now running with P10 with his teammate, P9. So there goes Cohen down the inside. B Morgan able to hold it around the outside. Beautiful defensive work there from the Red Bull. J. Cole just made a move on Dylan. Yep, a similar move, but J. Cole able to get that done. As Starja talking about his uh, instant. Starja, what happened, mate? Uh, Avengers has got to do his drive through, haven't he? Yeah, Bree, Bree's, Bree's gone onto the hard tyre, so that'll get him to the end of the race, but it will be slow. So, he's Velocity. definitely not be hoping for a safety car. Velocity opting for a set of soft tyres, that's a very bold call. It's an interesting strategy. Yeah, so at the minute the soft's still the better tyre right now, and probably got another... Three to four laps before this crossover, I would say. Um, the car man was holding off Dan, holding off Jake all right now. Doing a yeah, good enough a job. A little bit of a train forming now behind Carmentless, uh, including the championship leader, Dan, J. Cole, uh, Dylan, and Mark are both on the same tyres, but we got Tun there at the back of that train, and he is, he is going to be trying to charge and. As Dan actually goes down <coughs> the inside of Car Mentalist. Beautiful move there from the other Red Bull. Yeah. As it looks like J. Cole is uh, having a little bit of a sniff trying to size up the Renault. Yeah. Oh, and they touched Car Mentalist oh, and Dan. No. Dan. Dan's around. Yeah. And that is. Oh, mate. Two places I, lost I, there for. I hope Car Mentalist hasn't got damaged because. because that would really ruin his race. I think he's got away with it. Maybe have slight, slight damage, but um, yeah, it's such a shame for Dan. He's only lost two positions, but yeah, not ideal. And uh, what's going on here with the uh, with the Hasses? Is Mark playing the team game and letting Tun go, or is he gonna fight it? Uh, it looks well, like he's letting yeah. go. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's a good call because. because it also, also opens up the undercut tone in A. With, with these guys fighting, they, they will lose, lose so much time. time. I mean, you, you can get, get the medium pretty, pretty much from like six, six or seven, seven I think. I think actually. Actually. So, so they're, they're obviously in a pie, and that's, that's definitely, definitely the right call for me. I mean, it is a smart play there from uh, Mark to just let his teammate run his race and. To just have, uh, you know, just run his own race as well. Very smart call. As we got Cohen going down the inside of B Morgan at the end of the DRS straight, and that is move done. So the McLaren back up into second place. Meanwhile, Campbell with a five, uh, sorry, a three-second lead to these guys behind. <coughs> so Campbell yeah. absolutely cruising away right now. Yeah, B. Morgan and um, Bill, Bill is, um, 
they're just, just constantly, constantly fighting, and, and, and Campbell's just from there. And he doesn't have to push very hard. He can maintain his ERS and uh, preserve his tie life a bit more. So this is perfect for Campbell right now. I am keeping an eye on this gap between Carmentless and B Morgan. So at the moment, it does appear that the softs are still the better tire to be on, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that way for a huge amount longer. Probably around about lap seven, lap eight, we should start to see those medium tires start closing in. And yep, there we go, taking three tenths out of B Morgan, but then losing two tenths. Yeah, this is working really well for Matt because he's. He's, he's not, not losing out to the tire, you know, the, the quicker quick tire. He's, he's not losing any ground, and, and, and his advantage he's come at the second stint is just going to be more than what he would lose at the first stint. So, so right now, Mark's looking pretty. pretty. I reckon Mark, Mark could maybe get up to velocity. P3, seconds, you know. No, he's he's left. Velocity, I don't know. He sends it. He sends it. Don't you say comment? Let's hold it right the outside. Go on, mate. Stick out. Cold back, back on the outside. outside. I think Mentalis is going to have to do a switch back here. He's looking for it. it. Jay Cole going to try and block it. No, he, he defends it well. He's put his car in a perfect position. Job done. And I think Cole's the only one out of these uh, soft runners that can probably get away um, from Carl Mentalis at the minute. I mean, I think Dan's probably another one. Uh, it, it just, just depends if he's picked up damage when he had that little, little incident. incident. Um, it doesn't, doesn't look, look like it. it. Nah, I think he, uh, I think he managed to get away from that incident. I think it was just a, a spin. Carment was very lucky to get away without yeah. the front wing as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd like, like to, to see, see the guy, guy in P8 tone. So I'd, I'd like, like to see him pit this lap just to try and. and if anything, if right, right, here's the thing, thing he can be a good teammate, it'll, it'll open, open up because everyone else has got to react to him pissing. So, so by minimising what they can do on the soft, the guy on the medium, i.e. Mark, can have a have clear, clear, clear road. road. So, so the, the move here, here, I would say, is box, tone, and start the, uh, the train of pit stops. It'll be uh, interesting. It'll be interesting to hear what's actually going on in the party right now. As comment, this goes down the inside of J Cole. J Cole trying to hold it around the outside, but you can see the grip now of those mediums compared to the softs. Oh yeah, Dan's got a good run on J Cole. Yeah, he's just going to I don't know. I think I feel like it's quite even right now, but it's definitely weird. Taking a chance on this lap. Remember, J. Cole did two laps on them. Oh, Campbell, so... Campbell's pitted. Campbell, the first one into the, the pits. Cohen, no, no, Stanley pits. pits. Dan's going to be the big winner here. And I, I, I just feel like someone's missed a chance there because J. Cole did two flying laps on them soft, so surely he can only take them to a flat. Right, so where is Campbell gonna come out? He's gonna come out behind. He's gonna come out ahead of Bag of Bones in P9. Whereas Dan is gonna come out 13th with a, a good amount of clean air to push in. So Dan could very well get the jump on these guys because he's got some decent clean air. Yeah, and uh, Campbell, yeah, Campbell needs, needs to clear him up Dutch, Dutch face right now because, because he is he getting is held up, up and this will close the gap between the and first and second. Uh, fresh uh, mediums, he should get this done, done fairly easy. easy. DRS activated. Well, looks like Here Dylan might have a little look down the inside. He's gone for it. That was a late call for Dylan to go down the inside of J. Cole, but he has sent it and he has got up into fourth place. Meanwhile, Campbell does get past that trace for 8th place, so Campbell making quick work, and he's only 5.2 seconds behind this train. 
Yeah, and of yeah, course they've got a pit, so I don't even think he'll catch the train out. Oh no, B Morgan, five second penalty for corner cutting. Uh, that, that'll be, that's not multiple warning, so that'll probably be able to get wiped off. Uh, maybe reduced to a two second or a three second penalty. I'm not really sure how the penalty system works. Can members, P1, Dylan up 12 positions, and Tone up 14. Uh, for me, Hass needs to swap these drivers around now because... Yeah, now it's more Hinder and Mark is, than... Yeah, Cam Ellis is on the medium tire as well as Mark, so... I don't feel like it'll benefit them, him staying in front, so... Well, I think the switch is going to happen right here with DRS because Tun is out of DRS yeah, yeah. on Dylan. And you can see that ominous red Ferrari in the background of Campbell. Yeah, he's right there. So what's, so what's the lead between, between Campbell and QBR? QBR? So it's about 5.1 seconds. seconds. So, so by putting one second, body, he gained around, around two seconds. seconds. And, uh, by the way, uh, we didn't actually notice this, but Dan, with his undercut, is right on the back of his teammate. Yeah, the undercut, I would say, the undercut was... Because, because you're out in clean air, and Morgan was uh, battling with QBR, you know, that cost even more time as well, so great call by Dan. Hang on, did B. Morgan have to have a five-second stop go? Because that's happened to me before, where I've got a five-second penalty and it's turned into a stop-go. Yeah, it possibly, possibly does, does implement it. But just looking at the gap right. between him and Cohen right now. Yeah, it's definitely possible. It's heartbreaking for B. Morgan, but... Yeah, Campbell's looking really comfy right now. Not a worry in the world. Meanwhile, we do have a battle for the lead between Carmentless and Dylan. Dylan managing to get past the Renault. And Mark, he's still there. He's just, uh, just off the back, but he's going to have Campbell to deal with very soon. Yeah, I don't think really he will be able to do much about Campbell. They're, they're in two different complete races right now. And... Um, the only way Mark can battle with Campbell out of push is with a, a full-on safety car, I think. Well, looking at the ERS situation, Mark very depleted on 30%. Compared to Carmentless, who was on 70, and then you got yeah. Dylan on 50. And that's the thing, you can only really save around here in sector 3. And, uh, you know, if you're trying to close the gap... You're going to use, use it, it, but you kind of have, have to like, like get, get with him because, because you won't be able, able to use them to save. save. So, yeah, he's in a precarious situation, but he has saved, saved a little bit in this last half of the lap. And Campbell is very evidently right there. As we got the final soft runner coming into the pitch right now, Tigaby, who is probably going to drop well and truly down the order and turn actually opting for a set of soft tires so he's going for the two stop he is committed to it um so he's... He's... Tone's he's gone for soft, soft. Um, um i can't I agree with that decision he has committed oh. to the two stop that's a strange one because he's going to get about 8 or 9 laps out of him and then he'll have to fit anyway. I mean, mm, if I was going to do the if I was going to do the two stop, I'd pit like lap 6 for yeah, yeah we'd have through a set of mediums or something. But he yeah, took yeah, those tires 9 laps. That's a very very late call on the two stop. Yeah, you'd have to. You'd, you'd only do that if you did the soft at the end because of the clear advantage you'd have. Um, really weird strategy. Um, unless he's following the game and the game represents, you know, 
the, the game's game basically, basically saying soft, 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 soft medium, medium, which, which I, think I think it does around, around here. here. I mean, it didn't for me earlier. It just said soft to medium. But uh, Mark right now has managed to get within that DRS of Carmentalist. So Mark now coming into effect to battle Carmentalist and Dylan. And then we got Campbell literally 1.3. Oh, 1.2 he is literally storming at these guys. He's going to be in DRS now. Through the S's. And surely now Campbell. Yep, he's in DRS. What, uh, what lap are we expecting these medium runners to be putting in um, for the soft? So are we thinking lap 19, 20? It's got to be around that time. I mean, I know a fresh set of uh, softs will probably give you a... will give you 10 laps, but you're going to be very worn towards the end of those 10 laps. I mean, light fuel as well, maybe. You, know, you can push it a bit further, but... I don't know, anywhere from lap 18 to lap 21, I'd say. Just, Just worth noticing, um, the last few laps have been keeping an eye on the difference between Campbell and Cohen. And it is coming down, it's come down about a second since they both pitted. It was 5.3, and it's now 4.3, so it might be worth... Uh, keeping an eye on that in the next, like, sort of eight to nine laps. Um, whether or not Campbell's just taking it easy, um, could definitely be the um, the play there. But yeah, but keep an eye on that for the uh, next few laps. Well, the thing is now, Campbell's uh, come to a bit of a problem because he is now in a DRS train. I mean, it does give him perfect opportunity to save his ERS. But I don't know, I think, I, I think he'd be better off just getting him out of the way, to be honest, because the guys who he's got to overtake, I don't think are going to put much of a fight. I mean, you never know. Uh, B. Morgan's got my Dutch face uh, in front of him, but coming up to the uh, DRS, he should be able to. Then my Dutch face goes completely wide. Fantastic camera angle here from Coldmasters. Yeah, B. Morgan is, is comfortably going to get this. He, he, he might even... Oh! little bit of contact there between Mark and Campbell but Campbell able to get past Mark but Mark actually sticks it back up the inside uh, I don't think Mark was fighting that too much was he I mean there was a poor camera angle for me so I couldn't even see <laughs> if Mark was side by side with him or not but it did show that he did put it back up the inside but Campbell now yeah, yeah. in front of Mark now oh, Mark needs to nice. use Mark needs to use Campbell now to his advantage. Yeah, yeah and, and, um, stick it in stick rich, rich fuel, fuel and save your ERS. Keep your keep your ERS on zero, mate. Use your fuel. And I don't understand why. Uh, two seconds. I don't two understand why Mark's pull it and overtake there. He doesn't need. He'll say contact with these because Campbell's going to overtake him anyway. He's going to be in the DRS. He doesn't need to use his ERS because Campbell's going to overtake him anyway. I think he's just realised the gap and how quickly it's come down between him and Cohen. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get that, that, but with respect, he's not racing him. And, and uh, I think the bigger picture here is doing, doing the jump, the jump on, on these two cars in front of him. No, Campbell is uh, racing Cohen. Oh, no, I'm on about Mark, mate. Mark. Oh, no, I, I, when you said uh, Campbell in overtake, I think he's realised how quickly Cohen's closing down that gap to him. So now Campbell has to get these moves done ASAP and it looks so like he's going to get there. past Carmentalist by year. Yeah, fresh tires are making a difference. As Dan manages to get past Dutchface for 7, so now the Red Bulls have been freed from behind Dutchface. Can they get after Cohen? We'll find out towards the end of the race. So we've heard some of that, he's on a really solid race. Uh, up, up seven, seven positions. positions. Still, Still has a bit, of course, but yeah, he's, he's 
He's, in, he's, he's involved, involved in the race, race which is oh, good to see. Oh, Mark picks up a three second time penalty. Uh, there might be a bit of controversy with uh, Mark Dad's race. We didn't see it on stream, but Starja did say what happened to him on stream. It was an instant involving Dutch race. J. Cole's got a run on with Dutch race going into turn one. He moves, he moves to the inside, but look at him, he's a toe on the side. Oh, he's gone for both of them. Come on, man, you're the corner. The house. <laughs> what what a move there from Tun. Talk about being. Take, yeah, yeah, he sees an opportunity and he sent it like a good lad. What, what a move. So, so impressed with that. that. I mean, that's, a, I, that's got to be the move of the race so far. That, that's, and it's absolutely, absolutely dreadful for Cole because Tone will not, not lose speed for the next couple of laps, which means Dan, Dan may be able to get away a little bit. Campbell now able to get past Dylan. So now Campbell has clear it and Cohen now on the back of this train. Meanwhile, Mark is looking to have a little bit of a go at Carmentless for third. This is going to be very interesting because if these two start battling for position by here, Cohen is going to be finding it very difficult to pick his way through these two. Yeah, yeah. see, so, um, yeah. you can already, already see, see how much, much time, time. Uh, uh, Campbell, Campbell lost, lost to Cohen, Cohen because he was passing these, these. and already uh, Cohen, Cohen has lost four attempts four within one sector to Campbell. Campbell. So, so traffic, traffic is definitely, definitely playing a big part. Mark down the uh, inside, but he goes really. deep. The switch back there from Comet. This is a little bit of contact between the two of them. But Mark is there as well. Done. And Cohen now right on the back. He's got to be weary. I'll tell you what, who this is up a lot is Dylan. Look at Dylan's gap now to P3 and 4. Gary see where you were fighting. Yeah, 100%. Dylan capitalizing right now on the battling going on behind him and I think Mark may have made his move just a little bit too soon because now on this back straight he might get overtaken by both Carmentless and Cohen yeah Mark hasn't got DRS has he nope and he's saving as well so he's really taking a gamble here I think he's got this oh Cohen down the inside of Carmentless Oh my god, god. Cohen's yeah. angle of approach there yeah. was just yeah. ugly. <laughs> I, I just thought, oh my god, they're just going to kill each other. It's clean, it's clean enough. enough, it's clean enough. I think he tried to outbreak him, but can't mentalist. He's yeah, yeah, to get on yeah, the brakes. Exactly. Yeah. Jake Paul still, uh, still behind the turn and still. Behind yeah, Dan. Dan, so this, this is kind is of um, as, as you were. were. Yeah, we've entered that part of the Grand Prix now. Where oh, we got yellow flag in sector one and two. What's going on? Uh, it's, it's going to be a bad um, I think I it's Tigerby. I think. Could it be Tigerby? Carmentless is fighting Cohen. Into the S's they go. Keep it clean, please, lads. And Cohen able to get through the grip of those fresher, medium oh, tyres. Another, another three seconds for Vimo. That's at least six now, I think, I've seen. Yeah, so far, I've only seen three names that have come up for penalties. Mark for one. And B. Morgan now for two. So Cohen, 5.6. Behind Campbell, Campbell kind of uh, uh, how they were before. before. Um, sorry, after, after Campbell, Campbell pitted, pitted and before Cohen did. So yeah, but Cohen still got two more cars to go through. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so this is kind of panned out, out better for Campbell, Campbell over the last, last couple, couple of laps. laps. Meanwhile, um, it's gonna be Mark little... is literally on the teetering edge of no ERS whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think if Mark pitted now, he can run one lap in zero mode and still have the advantage because of how much the, the soft tire would be. Well, here's the thing. He's keeping with Dylan right now. And that's good because as long as he has DRS, which he doesn't at this moment in time, but 
comment, listen to the pizza. Yeah, so we'll see. Move, yeah. I think the sauce will make it that far, so good move for me. Yeah, as I was going to say, um, if Mark just sticks with Dylan, uses a DRS, not use any ERS over a lap, he could probably save a good 30%, maybe even 40 Yeah, it's definitely the way to go, but you say it, it just might have been worth taking a chance. Someone's just had a five second penalty, I didn't quite, quite catch who it was. was. I believe it was J. Cole with a three second penalty. Has Bree has lost it? Oh, he's, oh, lost, he's lost, lost it. it. But where has he, he lost, lost it? That's, that's the question. question. I'm on board with Parker right now just to see where. Chip or right hander? Surely not. Not into the pits. No, he's, he's, no, he's, he's not been. He's hit the wall, has he? In the pits. I think he. Oh, no, he, yeah, no, he's, he's done, done in the pit. pit. In the pits, is he? Without the pits? I'm not sure. I mean, he was. He could have very easily got perhaps a point out of this. So I don't think he would have thrown away a point. Maybe he just collided with the uh, the inside wall into the pit lane. Very easily done, actually. So fair play as Dylan into the pit. Mark continuing on for one more lap. So the car man list comes out in 10th, he's 25.2 seconds behind the leader, um, realistically where's his position going to be fighting? A couple of people are pitting now, I think, I think car man list is going to be looking at like a P7. And we got a ton also uh, in the pits as well for his second stop. And ton is going to come out in 12th place on a fresh set of medium so i don't know that two stop hasn't really worked out well for ten but he could very well get perhaps p9 maybe get on the back of carmentalist dylan and mark when their soft tires fade away towards the end yeah i think I it think hasn't worked out well because of the way he's, he's gone about the two stop, stop strategy i think when, when he pit he could have made the one stop um, yeah, he left it way too late. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, he was on. What did he start on the soft? And he, so he could have done yeah. the soft to medium, and then had his his own choice mid race. Um, but let's see what he can do. I mean, he's on the quickest tire, so maybe. Oh, sorry, no, he's not. He's on the medium. Uh, yeah, I mean, P10 is only cost, you know, he's only a couple of seconds down the road, so he can definitely definitely get points. Uh, this is what this is what I was uh, saying. I think he does with those fresh tyres. He should be able to close up to Adventures and Bag of Buttons. Starja, uh, uh, Sar Sarja and Mark have also got to make pit stops. I think Sarja yeah, no pitted yeah, very early. No yeah, so there's, there's no way Sarja's no making it all the way on one set of mediums from that four. No way. And there's an opportunity there if Dylan Carmentalis and Mark start fighting that he can close up to them towards the end of the race where their tyres are going to be overheated and off the pace. So there's opportunities there for Tunners. He is already on the back of Bag of Bones for 11th. So Mark's pitted. He's pitted. Yeah, See, look how much time... Look how much time, time Mark lost out due to the undercut. Three and, and a half, half seconds. That's that's, that's quite, quite a big, big gap, gap considering that he only pitted two laps earlier. Actually, it's more than that because he was right behind Dylan, wasn't he? When Dylan pitted. Uh, was he? Yeah, he's lost a good five seconds. Comment this went for a two lap undercut. Ah, uh, right, yeah, of course. Yeah, so he's lost like five, five seconds, seconds, yeah. As Tun able to get past Bag of Bones up into 11th. Next on his hit list is Adventures Ooh, in that recent point. Dylan clipped the little dip uh, in sector three, the little slow left hander off camber. And I literally, oh God, I thought he was going to lose the back end. Uh, 
I tell you what, this might be an interesting uh, topic. Would you guys say, uh, everyone in chat as well, you can answer this as well. Would you say that that little left hand dip is the worst corner for traction on this game? Uh, uh, for me, for me it's, it's the worst, worst corner, corner on the game. game. It's, it's worse, worse than, than uh, uh, do you know, the slow left hander in Bahrain. Bahrain. Yeah, the uh, double left hander. Yeah, yeah, oh my god. god. The, the, the left hander on this track is a pain. But saying that, I quite enjoyed it on the wheel. Um, when I was on Pala, I, I hated it because. I didn't feel like you could really get the rotation at the wheel. Uh, no, you, you really can't, no, I'm bad. You really can't. Um, <laughs> I can preach that. <laughs> but on the wheel, it felt quite nice. Um, and it just felt more natural. Um, so maybe it's something that will grow on me. But yeah, for me, it's the worst corner in the game. Well, we got this uh, battle for fourth right now as Dylan makes quick work of Sarge and gets up into sixth place. Comment, there's not going to be too far behind. Yeah, I think Dan at the minute is um, a net P3 with E Morgan's penalties. I haven't actually seen Dan have any penalties, so. Very impressed with Dan. He's, the last few months, he's, his consistency has definitely improved. Well, you know, Dan's gone into this season as the reigning D3 champion from last season. So, he's definitely showing why he was the champion last season. And he is, uh, you know, he's made that step up into D2 and could possibly be making another step up into D1 if he continues at this pace. Yeah, I yeah, think he's got his hands full of power for the rest of the race. race. Uh, Sarge is dropping back and he's coming back to these guys on the soft tire. Um, I think he needs to take now to, to have any sort of go on the soft tire. I can only think that he's trying to make them last to the end, but... Yeah, that's I mean, that's the ball. Let's have a look here. Sarge to 13. 19 seconds. So if he was to pit... He wouldn't be too far behind Dutch face on fresher, softer tyres. Yeah, exactly. As a shot for the uh, fastest lap as well. Yeah. It might be a call for Sarja. I mean, he might be throwing away more it. points if he does pit, but I, I don't know. I Interesting. Don't know. I, 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 I think, I think if he says that, he's going to get punched. Oh no, you're gonna. I mean, how many laps are left, right? So we got. Six if you count the one they're on. Yeah, six if we include uh, this lap, which we will. Probably gaining around about three, maybe four percent on each tyre, each lap, so. Probably around about 20 percent. Depending on why his tyres are on the right. Oh, this is a tricky one, this is. I think, I, I, you know, sure. if it was me, I think, I think I'd be more, more inclined to just, just pit, pit. Get, 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 get some, some points. points. As Dylan picks up a three second time penalty, oh, that's he's not going to happen. Right help on him. the back of Carmentalis. Eight, Eight times, he's going to get DRS. DRS. Sarge has lost three and a half seconds already in this, this lap to bag of bonus. In but the longer he leaves it, the worse it's going to be when he pits. But depending on what his percentage is on right now, I think he might risk it. I think he's going to roll the dice. Yeah, it's like he's way too long, long now. It wouldn't it make, make sense if you pit around lap 20. 20. You know, you yeah, give yourself a chance on the sauce. But right now, now just let the chips chip fall with him, mate. And. Uh, you know, yeah, if he's, he's got, got no penalties, maybe that's something he's trying, trying to maximize, to maximize as well. Uh... Meanwhile, Mark now all over the back of Carmentalist with DRS, and he has saved 
a fair amount of ERS now so Mark no longer in the crucial ERS saving mode Yeah, Seto one's a beauty, you know, like, it is up there with one of the best for the seconds out of any track, I think. No, I'm pad. No, I'm pad. Yeah, it's a fair <laughs> show. Ah, uh, come on, let's go very wide on the exit. Turn eight, I believe. I don't really know the uh, the number of the corners like that. Uh. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a, it's just a rough, rough guess. guess. I think, I think <laughs> it's a turn eight. But here goes Mark now down the inside. DRS wide open. Yeah. Job done. Mark yeah, now in up into eighth place. And if he can close up enough right now to Sarja and just try and uh, maintain that eighth position, Sarja could be a key roadblock for comment list when Mark gets past him. I tell you what, Sadie, what, 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 what a way. I mean, he's got 83%, 86% ERS, so props to him for the way he's managed his ERS because that's outstanding. Yeah, I, think I think the top, the top three, three are kind, kind of, of um, it's kind of neut neutralised the, uh, the the race, race right now. Right no one's, one's really close, close to anyone apart from Jay Paul and Dan still going at it. Um, still, about still about the second, second between the two. two. Well, Tun has now caught up to the back of Adventures, so we could see a move in the DRS zone. Uh, comment this. I think his tyres might be a little bit overcooked right now. Those two extra laps might be coming into play. Mark closing in on Sarja as well. Although to be fair, Sarja is doing a fantastic job uh, just Absolutely. keeping those tyres going. I mean, I know, I know it shouldn't be up for discussion, but if he doesn't get a puncher, it'd be, it's probably the sense of the year. <laughs> This turn looks for the switch back on Adventures. Round the outside into the it. double left hand. Uh, has he gone for the switch back? He has gone for the switch oh, back. Back down a bit because, because he didn't, didn't quite have the angle. angle. Doesn't, doesn't need to need rush, to rush it. it. Um, um, if this was me, me personally, I'd wait for the DRS because, because you, can get, you can get, you can save up. up. You know, no, you've got the pace. You've got, you've got the tire around it. It's just a matter of time. Before you oversee. As we got Verstappen in the chat right now saying QVR 1 2. It is a QVR 1 2. And they've pretty much dominated this entire race. Oh, there's oh, contact between the oh, racing no. point and the Haas. Time uh, to try to get him on the outside. But yeah, Ben's just keeping his position for now. And Mark's on the back of Star uh, Sarger. So we got a few key battles going on right now. We got J. Cole, who is in DRS of Dan. But we know J. Cole's got a penalty to his name. We got Mark versus Sarja. I think Mark has a penalty as well. I'm not sure. Oh, I, do you know what? I think Mark's got to be quite cautious. Could you imagine if there's all of a sudden an instant puncture and you're in the slipstream? That, that's going to be your front one that goes. As Tun now manages to get past Avengers. Oh yeah, he's got better exit, he's on the outside. Switch back. Switch back, back. Switch back. into the well. deep end. Well, that's yeah, a great camera shot. shot. Did you have the camera shot where it shows you absolutely nothing that's going on? No, I had the helicopter view. Right, that's Mark nice. needs to get past the Williams right now into turn one if he can. Um is turn one. Like he's got run. I mean, I mean send, it, got send it, send it, send it. Oh he's oh, gone deep. And the, the switchback switch should be done easily. 
Yeah, I don't actually think that's a bad thing, thing because by overtaking into turn one, you've just given the car ahead a massive advantage going down the the second DRS. So I think this lap is the lap where we'll see Mark passing. Uh, you're as my finger on it. I mean, Mark should have plenty oh, of grip to Oh, Mark just picked up another bump, Oh, no, that's not good for the harsh driver. As I was going to say, Mark, he definitely has the grip to pull away in sector one, I'd say, compared to Sarja. It's going to happen. This is the lap. Sarja can't do anything about this. Oh, Very to the inside. Mark goes even further to the inside. Oh, mate. Uh, I'm surprised that Mark's gone. Sarja with the switch back out. Yeah, the inside. I must have been doing the outside there, for sure. And he's got he's the job, got the job done. done. Fair play. Looking back towards uh, this battle for fourth place as we come on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. It has absolutely flown by, but I'm guessing for these guys, it's been the longest 28 laps of their life. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Dan's going to hold on to P4 here and possibly jump to P3. I think Morgan's got a couple of batteries. Dan might have one, but... Um, has to be said, a really solid race for Dan, for Morgan, for J. Cole, for Matt. A lot of good drives today. Yeah, but and a, a few... Uh... A few fantastic overtakes. I mean, turning that double overtake in the turn one. I mean, yeah, that was sure. that was beautiful. Yeah, Take yeah that's definitely my favourite. So. As Toxic goes for the fastest lap, gets it as well. But gonna go on board with the man who was on pole and has led this race from start to finish as he comes towards the final corner and I'm pretty sure all of the QVR lads will be saying this get in there Lewis as Campbell takes yeah, yeah. victory here great race, race Campbell. Campbell dominated the race, the race pretty, pretty much, much. Um, deserved, deserved winner. winner and Cohen in second with oh, B Morgan oh, oh my god look at oh, oh, the the gap the oh, gap oh, between oh, Dan and B Morgan. Oh, what does that do for the championship? And Mark gets huge. up into seventh. Sarja up into sixth. His tyres held on and he's got sixth place. Oh, Son gets eighth. Son gets eighth. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Shout out to Sarja. Sarja. The, the absolute, absolute tyre saving god. god. <laughs> 26 laps wow. on those mediums. I mean, I, I cannot, cannot believe, believe it. it. I, I literally cannot, cannot believe it. it. That, that is, is a stint, stint from, from hell. hell. I mean, if we're talking driver of the day, he's got to be <laughs> in the show for it. He's got to be that's, in the show for it for that. That's, that's fucking stupid. Oh, that's, that's so, so stupid, stupid how... how how? Just, <laughs> how is he not on the phone yet? As we got the QVR lads in chat right now saying, get in there, Lewis. I did say they'd be saying it. I said they'd say it. Uh, there you go. Fair play. But there we go. On the top step of the podium. Once again. QVR Campbell. Fantastic race, and he literally just controlled it from start to finish. Battling early on between uh, B Morgan and Cohen, lost him a bit of time at the start, but B Morgan with that penalty dropped him too far behind Cohen to really challenge anymore. And both of them with no with no penalties as well. Fantastic job. So we got Campbell, your race winner, with Cohen in second place. QVR 1-2 with B Morgan in third and Dan in fourth. A Red Bull 3-4 with J. Cole in fifth. Sarja 
with an incredible sixth place taking those mediums 26 laps after a very early pit stop then we got mark and his teammate ton in seventh and eighth a fantastic job there for the Haas drivers toro rosso's dylan in ninth adventures in tenth carmentless in eleventh bag of bones in twelfth and toxic the man with the fastest lap of the grand prix as we got Dutch race in 13th, Toxic 14th, Packer in 15th, Tigger B 16th, then our non finishers Bree, Velocity, Maledictus, and Starger. And that has been the United States Grand Prix. Wow. What, 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 what an end of the race. Look at 10 and PA. He only finished a second behind Mark, even though he did a two stop strategy. And it just shows you what time they lost when they battled that hard. Yes, absolutely. And obviously with uh, Dan and B Morgan as well, I think that battling with J. Cole towards the end might have cost Dan uh, a position on B Morgan. Yeah, but yeah, it's a huge, 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 uh, huge moment for the league. Yep, and a huge momentum swing there for Campbell, who gains. What is that now? Uh, 13 points on uh, Dan in the championship, so he's closing that gap down. But, first thing, so this guys, we want to thank you for joining us for this race. Uh, being your commentators, Ivor Bryn Mike, joined by a fellow Welshman. It is great to hear another Welsh accent on commentary, isn't it? <laughs> Just. Uh, joined by Ricardo. And yep, yep. we will be catching you next week. Uh, we might have, uh, we should probably have Ghost back next week joining me. But you know, if we can get a free man commentary team going, we'll we'll try. We'll try. But full grid, you can't knock that. Fantastic race, guys! Congrats to Campbell for winning and for Cohen and B Morgan on the podium. Until next week. We'll see you again.